here. And now we're ready to go. So Maddox, what do you expect to see in this game? Um, well, I haven't watched that much volleyball this year or commentated that much because of a, I'm a freshman and we have some seniors, but I'm hoping for a good game. Yeah, that, that ball out on the Eagles there. Um, Hart, it'll be Hartland back to serve number four, um, Rihanna Wylam. Yeah, I expect an exciting, exciting game. Melford, the number seven seed. Hartland, the number three seed. Hannah Kepler with the spike. Just a little bit long there by a couple of feet. Yeah, I definitely expect uh, number three, Hannah Kepler, to have a good game. She's definitely one of Milford's better players. Yeah, when when she swings the ball out, you better just get out of the way. That ball called out. Just barely missed the line. Eagles already behind behind 0-3 to three in the beginning moments of this game. That served just in by number four, Rihanna Wylam. Now the Huskies take a 4-0 lead. Set by number four, Stopper. Bontrager's just going to set it over. Kepler with the spike. And that is down off the of libero, number nine. Um, Gabrielle Siebert. In for the game, into the game for the Eagles, number 21, Savannah Spar. Bontrager with the serve. It was put over by, was that number 10 or? Yeah, it was number 10. Kayla Wetgen. Yeah, the Eagles better watch out here. They already find themselves down 5-1. Spike by Kepler. <laughs> off number tw off number 12. Gabrielle Siebert. Or excuse me, 19. Cassidy Siebert, her sister, I'm assuming. Number 4, Nevaeh Stoffer back to serve. Set, set over by Stoffer. Kepler with the spike. Didn't quite get all of it there. Spike from the back row but from the Huskies. And that ball was just set too far in the net. Kepler and who else was there? I think Savannah Spar was there. Yep. This kind of little miscommunication there. Eagles now down 2-6. to six. Oh, a powerful, powerful serve by number six, Kaylin Buller, or f number five, Olivia Casper. Yeah, excuse me, got to learn these names. Off of off of drop, bounced into the crowd. Still, the Eagles having trouble with those serves. Put over by uh, Spar. Oh, a block by Kepler, number thirteen. Croker had a, a beautiful hit, but Kepler was up there. She got her hands in there, just blocked it straight down. Now Kepler back for the serve for the Eagles. Ball's over. Oh, Stoffer tries to save it just off her fingertips. Now for the Huskies, back to serve is number 13, Allison Croker. Ball's over, bumped by Jayla Politsky. Stoffer races to get to it, and S Savannah Spar is just going to have to set it over. Oh, Stoffer tried to die for that one, bounced into her face and onto the ground. Yeah. Timeout by uh, the Milford Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles find themselves down 9-3 to three in the beginning moments of this first set. You know, in, in these SNC tournaments, they only have three sets, so every set is... Is important as the next. We'll be right back with more SNC volleyball action. Teens drink one fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting, and there is one parenting style that works best. 
more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. Allison it's called parenting. And there's one parenting Huskies. style that works best. Uh, Culp's spike there was blocked by the Huskies. She went up to spike it, and it, they just shot it right back at her face. Eagles now down 10-3. to three. Oh. Grop tried to bump it. Bump it. I don't know what happened there. Just didn't go quite underneath it. Back to serve for the Huskies again, number 13, Croker. Serves up. Another air by Gropsch. That's two in a row. I, I have to imagine the coach is thinking about taking yep. her out. And uh, she subs out for number 25, Sydney Bontrager. Yeah, back again for the Huskies, Croker. Blitzky with the dig. Uh, and a miscommunication by the Eagles. Three Eagles looked at it. Kolb, Stauffer, and Bontrager. Yeah, Coach uh, Haley Horty must not be uh, very pleased with how the Eagles are playing right now. Yeah, I see her trying to direct him on. Directing what to do. Bump goes over the net there by the Eagles. Cold with the spike. What, are, what do we have here? I'm not sure what that call is, um, but it'll be... Huskies ball. Once again, Croker back for the serve, and the Eagles now down 3-14 to 14 midway through this first set. Jayla Plitsky with the spike. Off the blockers and out. It'll be a point for the Eagles. The Eagles kind of crawling back into it. Yeah. One thing you have to notice is uh, for Heartland's lineup, they're playing so well, and most of their uh, – Individuals are 10th and 9th graders out there. Yeah, they got a young team. They'll be good for a long time. That served by Spar into the net, and it'll be Heartland's ball again. Eagles look like that a little momentum building there, and it all just goes down the drain. Number tw 21, Spar subs in out, excuse me, for 31, Shelby Grop. Grop back into the game. Let's see if she can tidy up those errors. Kepler with the back row spike. That is down. It'll be a point for the Eagles. Score. Oh, excuse me. That'll be a point for the Huskies. Jessica Hollis, number two, subs in for Chloe Cold. Eagles a little confused on that one. They're not sure what the call was there. Neither am I. Seemed pretty straightforward. Back to serve is Gabrielle Schreiber. And that serve into the net. That's two or one net serve for each team now. <laughs> Think that's funny, Maddox? No. That's what I thought. Back to serve is to Hollis. That serve makes it over. Spiked by number 10, Wetgen. And the Eagles try to block it. It goes off their fingertips and out into the Eagle crowd here. It'll be. Ser oh, go ahead, Maddox. Serving is uh, most likely Gabrielle's sister, Cassidy. I. I have no idea what that call was. The refs, or whatever you call them in volleyball, speaking to the Eagles. I don't know. I don't know if you can't move on a serve, but maybe there was some movement. That serve is out now. That's two service errors by the Huskies, one by the Eagles. It'll be Jayla Politsky back to serve. Eagles now down 18 to six in the end stages of this first set. Number 10, Wetgen with the spike. Bounces off the net and is down. It'll be a Husky point. Wylam is back to serve for the Huskies now. Bumped up by Politsky. Set over by Stoffer. Somehow the Huskies keep that alive. I think that was just luck on hand placement there. Kepler with the spike. The libero with the dig there. And the Huskies are just going to bump it over. Set up to Bontrager. Man, what a powerful swing that was. You know, you can't do anything you can't do anything about that. I mean, what is she like 6'2 or something? I mean, she doesn't even have to jump. Now back for the surf for the Eagles is Bontrager. Ball's over. 
the ball, that spike is long by Croker. It'll be Eagle ball again. Eagle still down eight to 19. Bontrager with the serve. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Huskies. Wow, that was uh, some good effort. Led to a failure, but it's yeah. what you like to see for the Huskies. Yeah. I think they can afford it, though. They got a few more points than the Eagles right now. That ball sent over by number 10, Wetgen. And Hollis is just going to set it over for the Eagles. Croker with the spike. And I, maybe the Eagles were in the net there. I, I, I think that was the call net violation as uh, Bontrager subs out for a drop. Wetchin back to serve for the Huskies. Ball's over. Set up by Stoffer. Oh, this looked like Kepler just tried to tip it over there, and the Huskies were ready to block that. They were not going to have that. Looks like a timeout's going to be called by the Eagles here as the score is 21-9 in the remaining stages of the second set. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. It's thanks to you. Let's get back to the action here in Melford. We have number 10. Back to Serves over, bumped up by Politsky, set by Stoffer, spiked over by Kepler. Look like Eagles try to tip it over. There, as you know, you can't hit the ball twice in a row. Eagles trying to get to it, but unfortunately we're unable with Kepler in the way. Wet Jen back to serve again for the Huskies. Huskies now three points away from taking the set. Kepler with the spike wow. off the blockers. You We're really have to admire the Huskies' defense. Usually Kepler is somewhat unstoppable. Yeah. They get to it every time. That one out by the Huskies, yeah. You know, she she's great at finding holes, but the Huskies, I'd, they really, they're they getting their hands up there and they're blocking a lot of those balls. I mean, they may not always get the point, but they're, they're causing a little disturbance for the Eagles' powerhouse. Spike from the back row by Wetjen. That ball into the net and down. It'll be a point for the Eagles. Eagle score now 11 to 22. Stoffer puts it over. Spike out by number 17, J Jansen. Uh, I don't, Eagles starting to come back a little bit here, but I'm afraid it's a little too late. As I stated earlier, the Huskies only three points away from taking the first set. Stoffer with a jump serve. Ball over. That ball tipped over by number 13, Croker. I, I believe that ball was out. Teammates weren't able to communicate to the player there, and the spike's in the net. It'll be Eagle ball again. I believe that is three or four unanswered points by the Eagles. As I stated earlier, it's a little bit too late, but I don't know. Maybe a late set comeback will provide the momentum through the second and third sets, possibly. Oh, that served barely over the net and down. Huskies not expecting that. And unfortunately, nothing you can do, and I believe that'll be a timeout by the Huskies. They gotta rally their girls up and get ready to go so they can finish this set out. I believe since the last Eagle timeout, there hasn't been a timeout, or hasn't been a point scored by the Huskies. So, so what are you seeing out there, Maddox, right now? Um, I'm seeing a very good defensive game by the Heartland Huskies and uh Learn more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. 
That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting. And there is one parenting style that works best. Learn more about the parenting style. Let's get back to the action here in the 2018 SNC Volleyball Championships in Milford. Stauffer back to serve for the Eagles. Eagles with four unanswered points. Serves over. Spike by number five, Casper. Cole tried to get to it. Olivia, Casper, number five, will be back to serve also. Yeah. I think that timeout was what the Huskies needed to get back into it. And there's Kepler, Kepler with the power. With the power. I'm going to take a little break here. That'll be the conclusion of the first set. Eagles losing 15 to five. Or 25, excuse me. That we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. It's thanks to you. Daniel McIntosh, I work for Truck Center Companies Columbus, and I'm a technician. I've always been interested in being a mechanic and working on stuff. Um, I actually learned through, about this job through a friend and he said it was a great place to work, so I decided I would apply, and I love it. It's good pay and uh, good benefits, and I like my hours that I work. I like my weekends and stuff that I get off or my days off. And the other technicians in the shop were really good about answering any questions and helping out anytime I needed help. Um, they also sent me through the TAP program in Omaha, and that was a lot of help as well. Uh, I learned a lot going through that program. I would highly recommend this job to some younger kids or some like high school students or even some other techs that have been doing it for a while. Okay, concluding the first set, we have um, the Huskies beating the Eagles 25-15. Eagles with a little late set comeback, but the Huskies proved that the score deficit was just too much to overcome. And everybody's ready to get back to action here in the second set. As I stated earlier, there are only three sets in these tournaments, so this could be a make or break moment for the Eagles. But as Mr. Soyster, our vice principal here, stated in the pregame, um, both teams will play win or lose in the South Gym following this game. So let's get ready to go. We have Rihanna Wylam back to serve for the Huskies. Both teams in their starting rotations. Serves over the net. 
bumped by Gropp, set by Stoffer, spiked by Kepler. And there again, while that um, spike got down, the Huskies, they're, they're really getting their hands up there and they're disturbing those spikes by Kepler. They're really taking her out of this game and they're making her less of a threat. Although, while she still has the power to get through those things, they're, they're making it more difficult for the Eagles. Eagles with a one nothing lead after the first set, or after the first point there, and now it's a tie game. Back to serve number 10, Wetgen. Great put over uh, the net by uh, number four, Rihanna Wilhelm. Yeah, she had a nice hit there. Serves up and over. See here, over to Kepler. Wetch in there, tried to bump it. She just backed off. It was too much. You know, the, bl the blockers weren't able to get their hands up there and disturb that ball, you know. I think that's really a key to the game for defeating the Eagles. Just keep making, keeping th Kepler out of it. Stoffer with the serve. Bumped up by Wetgen. Eagles with the block there, as I was saying that the Huskies need to work on that. Look at the Eagles doing what I'm saying. It'll be Stoffer back to serve again. Eagles with the 3-1 lead earlier in the in the second set. As I stated earlier, they could use some of that momentum they had in the end of the first. Looks like they're keeping it up. Oh, and that is blocked by Kepler. Kepler having a great first or second set here. See if she can continue that. I think her success is great for the Eagles. Served by Stoffer into the net. That's a little, little bit of a momentum killer there for the Eagles, but who knows? Back to serve for the Huskies, number five, Olivia Casper. Serve is up, and that one is in the net. Eagles maybe getting some momentum back now. Both teams in the second set have two service errors. I wish I would have kept track, but both teams had multiple service errors in the first set. Let's see if they can clean that up. Kepler with the serve. That one nicking the net. Huskies are just gonna set it over. Spike by Politsky, and that's blocked. See, Huskies really getting their hands in there and disturbing these passes. Kolb's just gonna have to set it over, and she is successful in doing that. I think she caught the Huskies off guard there. They, they were expecting a spike, but a little bit of a miscommunication there. It was a bad set by the Eagles. Man, Eagles really turning things around here. Yeah. Um, double hit, possibly. I, I don't, I don't know these signals. Looks like a little miscommunication there. Hep Kepler tried to. Croker with the serve. Oh, Grop, I mean, Grop has got three errors in this game right now. I mean, I, d I don't know if it's worth it as a coach to keep her in there. I think you got to look at possibly taking her out and putting in somebody who won't make those important errors in this game. As we've seen, this this game is fairly close right now with the Eagles only leading six to four. Now seven to four, a little miscommunication there. Huskies unsure of what's going on. Man, Wetgen, that's probably her like, first big mistake. She's been a pretty big key contributor for the uh, Huskies. Yeah, she's been an important part of their Husky offense. Spar with the serve. Spar a freshman in this game. That ball is sent over by number 13, Croker. Spike by Kolb. And, wow, just finding the corner. Yeah, that was a perfect spike right there in the corner. Kolb, the only left-handed spiker on the team. I believe probably the only left-handed person on the team. Looks a little bit different here on our cameras looking at a left-handed person spike the ball. Nevertheless, spar back to serve. Ball's over. And the Huskies are just going to have to send that over number 9. Cassidy Siebert she thought it was just going to be an easy tip over and it goes into the net it'll be an eagle point the Eagles now up 9-4 to four in the beginning of the first or second set
Gaspar back with the serve for the Eagles. Eagles up 9-4 to four in the beginning stage of this first set. That serve is out by Spar. Huskies now climbing back into it. The score now 9-5. The libero back to serve for the Huskies. Number 9, Gabrielle Siebert. Serves over. Kepler saves it there. Cole puts it over and another gorgeous spike. Yeah, right there in the, in the kind of the back center part of the court there. No, no Husky even around. Just a straight bullet. Wow, Jessica, excuse me, Chloe Kolb has really stepped it up in this second set. Yeah, um, she wasn't that effective in the first. Yeah, I, I can't say she had any kills in the first. Now I believe she has two or three already in this second set. Hollis puts it over. Yeah, nice serve there. The Eagles tip it back over. I don't know why. And that is in. Score is now 10-6. to six. Um, You know, for every one point the Huskies scored, the Eagles have scored two. You know, it's kind of hard to crawl yourself back into this. The Eagles definitely coming out strong here in the second set. Serves over. Oh, miscommunication there by the Eagles. Bontrager almost saves it. I thought that was long gone. She almost gets it over the net. Yeah, Grop having a rough game. I mean... Just a lot of miscommunication while she's out there. She has three airs or four airs, I believe. That spike blocked by the spike of Bontragers is blocked by um, the Huskies. There we go. And the Huskies will get the point. Again, number 19, Cassidy Sieber will be back to serve for the Huskies. Huskies now only down by two. Bontrager with the spike. Oh, that looked like long, but it, the libero kept it in for the Huskies. Kepler comes in and sets it. Spike by Politsky. That's blocked. Politsky tries to save it, and there's just nobody there. The Huskies now only down by one. It'll be 10-9. Again, Cassidy Siebert back to serve for the Huskies. Ball's over. Spike, Set to spike. Kepler. Set to Kepler in the back row, and that is blocked. You know, I think the Huskies are figuring out where the Eagles like to go, and that is the number three number of Kepler. She's Stoffer's favorite target, I'd have to imagine. Another error by Grop. And the Eagles just bump it over, and I don't know what the Huskies were expecting there, but that ball is down. It'll be an Eagle point to score now 11 to 10. Politsky back to serve for the Eagles. Spike by number five. Goes off the hands of Bontrager. You know, both teams in this game really been getting their hands up there and disrupting a lot of these spikes. I'd, there's been a lot of blocks or attempted blocks in this game. You know, you know I think that's a key for both of these teams because both teams have powerful, powerful hitters. Serve is Wallum. Spikes tipped by Kepler, rather. And that ball is spiked over by Wylam. Man, she has some power behind that. I think she's an equal match to Kepler. I think they both have some powerful arms right there. Again, Wylam is back to serve. Set over by Stoffer. That ball spiked over, saved by Jessica Hall. That's a great save, I might add. Ball spiked over by number four, Wylam from the back row. Tipped by Kepler, that's two tips in a row for Kepler. Huskies save it, they're just gonna bump it over. Oh, miscommunication there by the Eagles. Grop was underneath it, Stauffer called her off and it looks like Stauffer got cold feet there, backed off of it. You know, it's just, the Eagles had a commanding lead at the beginning of this second set, now they're starting to fall back. Let's see what they can do to fix this. Let's, Kepler with the spike. Yeah, that, that's what you need right there when your team's falling behind. You need a powerhouse to just slam the ball down their throat. It'll be Bontrager back to serve for the Eagles. Bontrager, a senior for the Eagles. Libero will save it, and the Huskies are just going to have to bump it over. Set up by Spar, the lone freshman on the Eagle varsity squad. Both teams fighting hard for this point here. They know it's important. 
and that ball was blocked by the Huskies, but it goes down on their side. It'll be an eagle point. Scores now 13-13. Eagles crawling their way back into it. It'll be Bontrager to serve again. Number tipped over. Go ahead, Maddox. Number 13 tipped that over. Croker, and the Eagles get the point. Yeah. One thing about Stauffer, she likes to – and she'll be, she's a little bit of a wild card. She'll either set it to her, to her spikers – or she'll just tip it right on over, you know, trying to catch teams off guard. Spiked by number 10, Wetchen. Sent over by Kepler. Man, right between the two Husky defenders. Man, that was a beautiful hit, just straight down. Again, it'll be Bontrager back to serve. The Eagles crawling their way back into it. Once down by two, now up by two. Bontrager's serve is over. Bumped up by the libero. It goes over the net. Stafford decides to set it back over. Wetgen just hits it over. Kepler with another spike, and that is down. And the Huskies are going to call a timeout as they find themselves down 16-13 to 13, midway through the second set. Works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org. Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. But there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking. It's called parenting, and there is one parenting style that works best. Learn more about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org Teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska. That's two times the national average, fifth worst in the nation. The Let's get back to action here in Melford. The Eagles up 16-13. Bontrager back to the serve for the Eagles. Serves over. Bumped up by the libero over the net. Set by Spar over the net for the... What, Jen? Spikes it into the net. Yeah. Huskies having some crucial errors now. A couple of missed spikes, sides, miscommunication, allowing the Eagles to kind of pull away here, possibly tying the sets. 1-1. One, one. Spiked over by Wetgen. That's tipped. That'll be come down. It'll be a point for the Huskies. Huskies now only down by three. The score 17-14. Man, both teams battling hard. I mean, beginning of the first set, I thought the Eagles were completely out of this game, and Looking at it now, they have a possibility to win it in the third set. That spike by Spar, a little bit of a whiff there, just goes into the net. Eagles kind of confused on what happened. What Jen will be back to serve. Serves up and over. Bumped up by the libero Grop. Spiked by Kepler. Not one of her better ones. Still a decent spike. It'll be a point for the Huskies. Huskies now only down by one. Both teams fighting hard. I mean, this is a very important set for the Eagles if they want to continue on to go to a third set. Ball's over. Set by Grop to Kepler. That ball down. And, you know, you, you can try and get underneath that and pop it up. But there, as you saw what happened, it just goes into the crowd. A lot of power behind that hit. Both teams here playing for fifth place. The loser will go on to play for seventh place. Stauffer puts it over. Spiked by, or excuse me, just tipped over by Cold. Spiked by number five, Olivia Casper. Man, she had some heat behind that one. Yeah. And now she'll be back to serve. Yeah. Huskies down by one here. Very important set for both teams. Eagles to, to have a little bit of hope on making it to the fifth place championship game. Huskies just to finish this game. Kepler with the spike, and that is long and out. Gr good eyes by the Huskies there to let that one go. Back again will be Casper. Serves over, Kepler. Spar's just going to hit it over. 
blocked by the Eagles. Colbin Spar got their hands up there. And Grop and Stauffer get, getting into it again. Both a little miscommunication there. I don't know what's going on for the Eagles, but they now find themselves down by one point is when, before they found themselves up by two. Again, Casper back to serve for the Huskies. Ball's over. Just barely crossing over the net. Tipped. Wow, what a smart play by Kepler. And they will still get the point. A little confused there. Good effort there by the Huskies to try and get their hand underneath that to pop it up, but a little bit too late. And Kepler's back to serve for the Eagles with the score is tied 19-19 here in the second set. Served by Kepler is called out. That was a very close serve. Huskies stayed off of it. Scores 19-20 here in the remaining stages of the second set. As I said earlier, only in these championship games, there's only three sets in this tournament. So a very important one for the Eagles as they find themselves down by one. Spike. Blocked. Go ahead. Spike by uh, Sieber. Or, sorry, don't know how to pronounce it. But the Eagles will get the point. What do you think it was? Um, I think they got in the net, I believe. Eagles had a block there on that spike. Score's now tied. Spar back to serve a freshman in a very important game right here. N neither team's playing for a championship, but they're playing for fifth place, an important game. And that ball's over. The um, Huskies find themselves up by one here in the final leg of this second set. Let's see if the Eagles have anything to throw at them here. The serve is up by the libero and over. Set by Stoffer, spiked by Kepler, and the Huskies try to block it there and just hit it back into the net, and it goes down. It'll be a point for the Eagles. Scores 21-21. Really a very intense game coming down to the wire here. I just which team has more grit and determination will will decide this set. Hollis back to serve for the Eagles. Serves up and over. Bumped up by the Huskies. Just tipped over by the Huskies. Spiked by Bontrager into number five. And it will be the Eagles points somehow. I, the coach doesn't agree. Um, a little cross-court call there. Going in the Eagles' favor. The Eagles now up 22-21. Once again, we played to 25 in volleyball. Number 10, Carr with the spike. And that is just down in the corner, perfectly placed. The score is now tied, 22-22. Huskies back to serve, number 19, Cassidy Siebert. Ball's over. A little bit of a miscommunication there again by Groff and Stauffer. And that ball is spiked by Wetchen off the eagle, block it down. The Huskies now find themselves ahead by one point. As the score is 22-23, there'll be a timeout called as we go into the final moments of this second set. That we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. It's thanks to you. Let's get back to the action here in Melford. We have a very exciting game going on here. Scores 22-23 Huskies. Another spike from Kepler in the back row. Bontrager puts it over. Both teams fighting hard. Eagles playing to go to a third set and that's down. That's match point. Huskies scores 22-24. Let's see if the Eagles have anything for them. Number nine. Oh, timeout by Coach Horty of the Milford Eagles. I think that's a smart call. The Eagles have been kind of having a little miscommunication. Let's get them rallied back up and let's go and win this set.
Here we go in the final moments of the second set. If the Huskies get this point, they win the set and the game. Eagles trying to fight hard. Oh, a little miscommunication. Kepler's just going to bump it over. Important moment there. That could have been big. Bumped up by Kepler. Set by Stauffer and a whiff by Bontrager. And they're going to get the Eagles for four hits, I believe that's what it is. And that'll be the game. You know, the Eagles fighting hard. They really look to have all the momentum at the end of this, at the beginning of the second set. And really, at times throughout the second set, I think they played well considering how they started. You know, they, they, came, they came out fighting strong in the second set. You know, both teams fighting hard. The Eagles losing 15-25, but that really doesn't reflect how they played. They were down by at one point by over 15 points, I believe. So it's something they can hold their heads on as they go to play in the South Gym here at Melford Public Schools. Daniel McIntosh, I work for Truck Center Companies Columbus, and I'm a technician. I've always been interested in being a mechanic and working on stuff. Um, I actually learned through, about this job through a friend, and he said it was a great place to work, so I decided I would apply, and I love it. It's good pay and uh, good benefits, and I like my hours that I work. I like my weekends and stuff that I get off or my days off. The other technicians in the shop were really good about answering any questions and helping out anytime I needed help. Um, they also sent me through the TAP program in Omaha, and that was a lot of help as well. Uh, I learned a lot going through that program. I would highly recommend this job to some younger kids or some like high school students or even some other techs that have been doing it for a while.